Crazy scenes in the Group F game between Mali and Tunisia in the Africa Cup of Nations. Ed Dove joining us now to talk about it. So, Ed, can you tell us what exactly happened? Well, you're absolutely right to say it was a controversial and dramatic conclusion to Mali against Tunisia. The final five minutes of this fixture were, were like something, well, not quite like anything I've ever seen, really. Uh, there was a controversial red card. Uh, he, the referee went to VAR. The VAR suggested that the card be overturned. The referee stuck with his original decision. Uh, he initially seemed to end the game at 85 minutes, where he blew the whistle twice. And then he definitively ended the game at 89 minutes, 40 seconds, without even getting to the 90 minutes, without even getting to the injury time or or stoppage time or consulting his fourth official uh, and predictably Tunisia who were losing 1-0 were not happy with this situation. And right now this result standing this 1-0 win for, for Mali. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Initially CAF uh, I understand went into the press conference and offered Tunisia the chance to replay the final few seconds of the game plus stoppage time but even though Mali returned to the pitch and were ready to to play those final minutes Tunisia refused, they left the stadium, and I'm expecting there's going to be repercussions tomorrow and likely an official complaint from Tunisia. Uh, official complaint, if that's to go ahead, what would you expect to see? Or what do you think that they'll be hoping for, Ed? Do you think it'll be a replay? I think that's what they're hoping for. They're going to be hoping for the chance to, to play the fixture again and have the opportunity to not lose their opening game at the, at the Nations Cup. And there might be pressure on CAF to do that, but I think the fact that Tunisia refused CAF's offer today to play the final minutes of the game, I likely think that means that CAF won't offer them uh, the second chance that they're looking for. Uh, and just interesting to hear you say that you've never seen anything like this. Can you just confirm that, obviously, you follow African football very closely. This is the first time you've seen anything like this. Of course. I mean, listen, there are referee mistakes all the time. In Africa, conditions are, off, are often difficult. Um, certainly the conditions today, the humidity and the temperature, we're looking at 36 degrees, 65% humidity. Difficult conditions can open the door perhaps to more errors or um, to, for people to not be as, as concentrating as well as they might be. But to not even go to your fourth official to hear what the injury time or the stoppage time is, that's not just a, a little mistake. That's, that's a big clangor for a referee who will have done this hundreds, thousands of times before. So just to conclude, what's the broader picture here, Ed? What does it mean for the Africa Cup of Nations? OK, regardless of what happens to this fixture, regardless of what outcome there ultimately is for this match and this result, the bottom line is that it's, it's massively disappointing for the Nations Cup already on day three, day four, to be plunged into controversy, for people to be talking about African incompetence, potential corruption, uh, potential cheating, when actually taking the attention away from the football and away from what really matters and, and why we're all here, which is celebrating African sport. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.